guys, it's Gaz again here. Just explaining a little bit about the Blackmore angle that I use and some of the settings that I use with it and some of the things that are going through it. Now with this amp, I just, uh, as you can see, we'll take a little bit of a tour of the, the head and the dials on it. So here we have it. We have the clean channel. I usually run that probably back about here somewhere. Lead channel full on. On the base, I'll have it sometimes totally off or a little bit for the Seymour Duncan and a little bit more for all the other strats. And then on to the uh, middle, around middle, or a little bit more, around 12 o'clock. And then sometimes uh, less treble, sometimes a little bit more, but never up above that usually. Uh, a little bit of presence there, halfway, and a lead volume. Well, here we are in the studio, so we can have it quite low, but I can also adjust it by the volume on the uh, rack that I use for the uh, reverb and, and delay. I usually run the uh, master gain, A and B, about that level there. However, uh, I usually use a little bit of uh, overdrive to get uh, the desired effect from a little pedal. However, really using the master game will do basically the same thing. Only under the weakest pickups would you need to use something to help it out. Or if you're in a position, just turn it up. Not like we are in the studio here, where it's a pretty low volume, but it still works quite well for that. Okay, so that's a tour of what normally is the situation there on the head. Once again, usually out of all this setting, it's the bass and this master gain for the A uh, channel, which will move the most, and it all depends what guitars I'm using. Now back over to the foot switch arrangement. So as you can see, I was playing on the soft lead or low gain channel. There it is there. I'll just take that little bit of um, a gain off from the, uh, the pedal there. So that's, there you go, that's five there. And up to ten. And then on your um, neck pickup. So that's that channel. I uh, don't really use the crunch or the clean much. Very similar with this particular guitar anyway. If you had a humbucker arrangement, I'm sure it would um, make a bit of a difference. But that's normally it. Or sometimes I will use the egg frying channel, which really isn't too... It's not like a full restaurant doing a breakfast with that sound and it really doesn't pick up through the uh, mic even when I'm using it when I'm recording it it's amazing how much louder it seems to the uh, to the ear and there'd be a good um, reason for that and no doubt it audio engineers would know all that not um, home recording people or well, no doubt many of them do too so what are we on there about five Now let's take it up to 10 on the bridge picker. Well, why would you need any more than that? So, I mean, once again, this is on pretty low volume at the moment, as it's not windy outside and no one's mowing any lawn, so I can't really turn it, <laughs> turn it up. But as soon as I hear that, we'll turn it up. Yeah, so there you go. So these are uh, not the best pickups in the world, but at least they give a different sort of um, uh, a feel, if you know what I mean. So that is what basically goes on here. Sometimes if I need a little bit of a boost, I'll hit the contour, which just gives out a little, or a couple more dB or whatever. <laughs> You 
got the, the uh, master, the high gain. Which doesn't really, I, I hardly use that anyway for what I'm doing. Okay, so that's basically how I set that amp up with all these sorts of guitars. So if you have any questions about the gear, um, feel free to ask and um, I'll see if I can give you a hand if you don't know what you're doing. And if I don't know what I'm doing, please give me a hand. <laughs> okay, so we'll see you again.